careful down there, Inquisitor. The world is crawling with Tyranids. My main concern is not those Xenos, but another one in particular. Are you certain that the Harlequin will be here? I am, as much as one can be certain about Harlequin. I'm still perplexed by the ferociousness of the Tyranids without their hive fleet. It is indeed remarkable. The Xenos recognize the utility of a full-scale invasion and use the available biomass to infect as many planets as they could. Still, eventually they were purged by the Imperium. Not entirely. After the Tyranids had scattered their forces, isolated diaspores were able to survive eradication. Mostly on the more backwater planets. Die, heretic! How does that saying go about plans extending beyond contact with the enemy? Well, it happens. If the surgical strike does not work, we can always try brute force. the heretic! Inquisitor, I have troubling news. Judging by the Augur reconnaissance, the entire area is showing Tyranid activity on immense scale. That might be problematic. It sounds like I have to face a Xenos army. May I make a proposal? Why don't we recruit Noble Sakaradoc, the pilot of the Crimson Wanderer again? It is a sound idea, Captain, but he could be anywhere in the sector. Inquisitor Mercer, do you have any idea what the Harlequin is trying to achieve on an infested planet? First, it used to be their world. I'd say the Eldar regard it as their world still. The Harlequins are attracted to the sights of great tragedies. What is so unique about this planet? This used to be an Eldari maiden world, at a hub in the webway. Numerous gates are still intact. So, she can dance between the webway and real space. Perfect hideout for a Harlequin. why the threat of the isolated Tyranid diaspores led the Adeptus Mechanicus to order Exterminatus. Yes, that was a sad fate of this maiden world. The current situation proves, though, that even an Exterminatus might not be enough. What is more disturbing is that this proves that this particular hive mind acted like a highly intelligent being and used cold logic. Talk, Harlequin. Seriously this time. I have fought my way here. No, human. You have barely started fighting. The true battle only begins now. My tolerance for your riddles has not increased greatly since last time. Still, you are exactly where you need to be. Not far from here, upon the plains of despair, where the towers no longer sing laments, lies the ruin of the Shrine of the Prophecy. I've warned you about talking in riddles, haven't I? Your kind call it the Viserum Prophecy. That is where the corrupted wanderer, the one you call Uther Tiberius, followed the same visionary words. Tell me about the Shrine. Why? You would not understand it. The Shrine holds great power, which is why the Devourers are drawn to it. I will lead you there once the path is clear. And if I refuse to play my part in your wicked theatrics? 
then the Nexus will open, and its purple gaze will fall upon your falling empire, Inquisitor. You sound just as insane as I thought. However, I have an idea about that swarm. I will join you in the endless dance of death after you have walked through fire and flames. Good news. The Free Blade Knight is awaiting deployment against the Tyranids, and Sir Ambrose Caradoc is currently reciting the prayers of sacred recalibration in the hangar. That zone is the epicenter of the infestation. He needs to be prepared. looks abandoned. Even the emergency systems are down. It was to be expected. You are in an extremely ancient military outpost. I strongly suspect that it used to belong to the Adeptus Astartes. Interesting. Which chapter? I have no idea. According to the tech priest, the logs have been scrubbed clean. And the automatic systems just transmit a jumble of incomprehensible hymns. It surely fits your gloomy legends nicely. There must be a reason why this location has been deleted from all archives. I restore the power first, then we will see. The automated servo skulls have been corrupted. Infestation. This must be the Great Hall. Battle Brothers used to gather here to feast and celebrate the glorious victories. There should be a terminal nearby where you can turn back the power. Thorn. This was indeed the Great Hall. By the Emperor! Look at the statues, Inquisitor! Look at them! What is this? Are these... Stormwatcher statues? They are! This outpost belongs to my chapter! This is... simply... unbelievable! It is. How could you explain that one of your former fortifications has become a forbidden ruin? I... Couldn't. Why would your Grand Master keep the existence of this place a secret? I don't know, Inquisitor, but I am willing to find out. Let me join you down there. Patience, Thor. First, I need to confirm that this is indeed a Stormwatcher outpost. I have no doubts about this. And if you can find a terminal connected to the Central Data Vault, you will see that I was right. the 
Emperor! Unclean. Found the blasphemous symbol of corn in some sort of a battle arena. Blasphemy! Disgrace! Who dares defile our sacred halls? Soon we'll know, I guess. Solved. It was the cult of corn that turned this place into a blood soaked shrine of destruction. Warning. According to the thrice blessed ethereal instruments, increasing fluctuations have been detected in the warp. The pattern shows correlation with the motive force dispersion caused by battlefield casualties. Let me translate this for my uninitiated mind. The more blood is spilled, the weaker the veil becomes between the real space and the warp. Imprecise assessment. But correct on a basic level. So, if I keep on killing the servants of Thorn, I risk some significant warp manifestations. Splendid news. Phenomena far away for later research. said that they found it abandoned in the first place.
access to the data vault, but I have company here. Recoil, unclean! Fascinating. This outpost used to be an important military base for stormwater expeditions, left abandoned for millennia. Inquisitor, new sensory data disproves your theory. What are you talking about? Sensors are picking up gradually increasing life signs from the lower levels, as if individual life forms are returning from deep hibernation. Waking up from hibernation? Like the space marines with their membranes? Bioscanners are identifying genetic markers shared by our Stormwatcher specimen on your bridge. Did you hear that, Inquisitor? The Chaos Filth couldn't penetrate the secure levels. My battle brothers must be down there, in deep hibernation. It is just a theory. Calm down, Thorn. I must go down immediately. I'm heading back to the ship. We'll talk about this before anyone would descend. Inquisitor, you can't expect me to stay on this ship while you are investigating an ancient Stormwatcher outpost. That is exactly what I expect of you. I deserve a reasonable explanation. Isn't it obvious? We have followed the trail from the Word Bearers to find an ancient Stormwatcher outpost tainted by corn. Its existence evidently concealed from you and your battle brothers by your superior. This is more than suspicious. Which is why you need my assistance more than ever. Trust me, Thorn. The last thing I want in this convoluted situation is to keep an eye on a quick-tempered space marine with an agenda. You will have your chance to explore later. Thorn, I need directions. You're in the right place. This corridor leads to the armory, one of the most well-guarded areas in any Stormwatcher outpost. Kill the heretic!
burn! Loading! Teleport beacon in range. This looks like a dead end. This is a safety measure, Inquisitor. The armory can only be accessed through sacred teleportariums protected by the most holy incantations of our deck marines. It makes sense that your battle brothers decided to withdraw there. Hopefully, the tech priest can disable those incantations. I'm praying to the Emperor to guide your steps in the darkness. You sound uncharacteristically tense, Sergeant. I am one of the few survivors of a diminished chapter, Inquisitor. Can you imagine what it would mean to me to find my lost brothers out there? Override is complete. Tech Priest, I need a swift scan. Decontamination protocol active. Containment field deactivated. Teleport jammer deactivated. This area was supposed to be untouched. Despicable filth, tainting everything that is sacred. Kill them, Inquisitor. Kill them. Storm watchers down here. I need a new area scan. Whatever has just happened, it can't be good. Captain, do you copy? Yes, I am here, Inquisitor. We had some trouble on the bridge. 
You really need to keep your warhound on a tighter leash. Watch your tone, Captain. And tell me what happened to you. Caius Thorn is what happened to me. Since you left, he's been showing growing signs of agitation. Suddenly, he started to act violently. He forced the tech priest to set the teleportarium coordinates to the heart of Armory, and he just left. Caius Thorn is down here. I need his location immediately. He is deep in the bowels of this level. You will need to find the closest teleportarium and jump to the coordinates I'm sending you. I'll be on my way. I cannot tolerate this kind of disrespectful behavior on my ship. Not even from an angel of death. I want you to stand down and wait for me. Answer me, Lord. Don't let your fervor overcome your sense of duty. Blasted interference and okay. I'm at the teleportarium. Use the coordinates. Thorn is in the medical ward. In Predator, more fluctuations peaking in the target zone. Motive force dispersion on the increase. Warp anomalies inbound. Foul god of carnage with all his gifts and his followers. Atheric disruption scanners are also picking up amplified warp energies, tearing apart the central hub of the station. So, besides all the anomalies, there is one big warp trip manifesting in the forest. I'll meet its exact location as soon as possible. Die, heretic! Die, unclean!
unclean. Lashing out with the righteous fury of the Storm Watchers, cleaning our sacred holes from the filth of Khorne. How dare you to disobey my orders? I am the agent of the Holy Ordos, and I told you to stand down. Do whatever you must do, Inquisitor. I couldn't stay behind. If my brothers are truly down here, I must find them, or avenge them. I understand that you are craving for answers, but I must warn you, Thorn. You might not like the answers you'll find. Let us clear out the apothecary chamber. Then we can talk. Masters have fooled you. Who are you, creature? We are the Ravagers, 
Kings of the Seas of Souls. We are the mighty Void Rippers, and hell trembles in our wake. This is our fortress. Liar! This is a Stormwatcher outpost. Where are my Battle Brothers, creature? Standing in front of you. We are the Void Rippers, and we thought that you were all dead, little brother. Lies. Let the Emperor's wrath fill my heart. Perish! Burn! Burn! What in the name of the Emperor was that for? I honestly don't know, Inquisitor. I swear, I've never even heard of this traitorous legion. Me neither. This is truly uncanny. Permission to interrupt the emotionally charged social interaction. Requested triangulation of the fixed warp anomaly in the central hub is complete. Location confirmed. We'll return to the bridge first, then I'll deal with the warp. Thorn, this is far from over. You should be harshly reprimanded for your disobedience. I am willing to face the consequences of my thoughtless actions. As part of my penitence, I want to help you clear out this infested outpost. We should focus on that warp rift down there. Like a gaping, festering wound of the world, it shall be destroyed. Status report, Tech Priest. Warp anomaly shows signs of increased activity. Hostile presence is rapidly growing in the target area. By the Emperor. Those Void Rippers are returning from wherever hellhole they were hiding in the Immaterium. Rapid response advised. Inquisitor, before we wade into righteous battle, allow me to tell you that I regret the rash decision that I made earlier discuss that incident some other time. Right. But you must accept that I am an Adeptus Astartes. We go where we wilt. We slay who we wilt. Let the Emperor judge the righteousness of our deeds. During this mission, I will be the judge of what shall be done. Right now, we shall destroy the warp gate, for instance. For the Emperor!
still unclean. has already destabilized the surrounding real space segment. Any further impairment could be disastrous. Are you suggesting we cannot destroy the gate from this side? Correct. However, active maintenance charms in the logs prove the existence of corrupted anchor machines on this level. Wait, this outpost has been anchored to the real space by those rare arcane mechanical contraptions of the cult Mechanicus? Indeed. Structural analysis suggests alternative approach. Destroy the machines instead of the gate. I like the idea. Instead of keeping the outpost here, we should kick it back to the wall. Coordinates exloaded to your data slate. nest of vipers, even if we obliterate all the secrets of Storm Watchers. This is a tough decision. These halls are sacred, even with all the depravities we have seen here. This is not negotiable. Acknowledged. But I'd rather stay here and stem the tide of these void trippers. I know you want answers, Sergeant, but don't let them fool you with their lies. Trust me, Inquisitor. Only my Bolter will be doing the talking now. Expels corrupted machine spirit emanation. More data required. Fine, I'll take a look. You have reached the first of the sacred Empyrean anchors. Now, tell me how I should destroy this gargantuan machine. Use of violent force deemed impractical. Access the cogitator for manual control and initiate E override canticle. from the tech heresy we are committing. I had no other choice. Your compliments have been long.
I unclean? Unclean. destroyed. Warp fluctuation reaching critical levels. Immediate evacuation advised. I'm not leaving without Thor. Illogical. The outpost is drifting into the warp, causing serious interference with the teleportarium signals. The Astartus is a valuable tool, but the calculated risk... I'm afraid this equation is beyond your understanding of it, Rob. Prepare to get us out. Return to Thor. We are ready to move out. Recalculating teleportarian coordinates. Factoring in warp fluctuations. Hurry up. Emperor has no power here. I give you a truce. 
take it as a gift. Once we were one, brother. Then we ascended and spared you the disgrace of cowardice and Shut your lying mouth, abomination. I will watch you bleed out with pleasure. Blood must be spared, yes. It seems that we were negligent. A mistake which must be corrected. Stand down, Thor. Tech Priest, take us out of here. I will kill you, creature. I hope you will try, brother. Openly disobeyed my direct orders and put the entire mission into jeopardy. You shall be judged and sentenced for that. I am aware that the Adeptus of Starters are standing in the front lines against darkness. And for that, I am willing to suspend the execution of your sentence for an indefinite period, Sergeant. You will not regret your decision, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, you have a message from the Conclave, a quite agitated one, it seems. It gave the astropath nightmares and fits. I was expecting something like this. Let me hear it. Inquisitor, while we commend the successful purge of the corn infestation, we are also extremely displeased with the way you handled the fallout of the Ronielli incident. Not only did you openly defy our order, you have also initiated a new conflict in the subsector. There is a reason why the entire existence of the Storm Watchers is a highly classified secret. As you have already concluded, the Void Rippers are former traitorous Storm Watchers who fled the warp millennia ago, in the belief that all their brethren perished. Then they began their insane crusades. They are now aware of their existence again and launched an offensive against the secret Stormwatcher homeworld in the Tarantir system. Travel to the Ascalon Hive world, meet the Grand Master of the Chapter in his bastion, and help them sort out this mess. 